Hello there. Welcome to a recap of today's top stories on AF Television. My name is Jennifer Ndu Kazi. Foundation has awarded scholarships for the year 2022 edition to 26 undergraduates studying in various public tertiary institutions in Nigeria. The new scholars who were selected after a rigorous process were inducted the scholarship scheme on Saturday, July 23, 2022, during the Alex Oti Foundation Scholarship Banquet held at Matade Cathedral, Omaha Abbey. Families of the tortured male victims of the Kaduna Abuja train attack have taken to protest at the Ministry of Transportation today, Monday, against the continued stay of their loved ones in the terrorist den. This is coming after a video went viral of the male victims being beaten by their abductors. In Sokoto State, Tony Udemeze under the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto has been reportedly kidnapped by unknown gunmen. This is coming days after the burial of the priest who was kidnapped and killed in Kaduna State. Toby Amusan, a Nigerian athlete, has become the first to win a World's Athletic Championship gold as she emerged victorious in the women's 100 meters hurdles in Oregon on Sunday. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control (NCDC) had yesterday confirmed 16 new cases of the monkeypox from 12 states, namely Rivers, Anambra, Oyo, Imo, Edo, Gombe, Delta, Lagos, Taraba, Akwaibom, Bauchi, and Bayosa. The center observed that from January 1st to July 7, 2022, there have been about 338 suspected cases. 117 confirmed cases. And that was it for a recap of today's top stories. Follow us on all our social media platforms displayed on the screen and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, do not forget to log into our website at www.afnews.ng to read more of our full stories and keep abreast of events happening in and outside of Nigeria.